Hello everybody, today we are going to talk about the streams error flags. Because you know, sometimes when you open the files, there might happen some kind of errors. You see, for example, you might try to, by mistake, assign a variable which type is string to the variable which is integer. We can try to retrieve something from file and by mistake we we could do something like that, right? And then there will be some kind of error. And we can react on that errors because when some kind of errors happen, every time there is a state which we can read and we can react to it. So there are functions. Functions which returns true or false depends depending on the situation. For example, we have got the function which is called bet. And as you can guess, this is a bad situation. And this function returns true if there is an error, like, for example, writing to file which was opened only for reading. So it had the flag iOS input. We have to remember that this uh, function returns the true because there exists a a flag, a state, which is called bad bit. Okay, so uh, let's check it out on the practical example. As you can see, we're opening here a sample text, which we have got here, and here we have a sample text inside ours. Okay, so let's open that file right now only for reading, and let's try to insert something inside. So for example, a uh, sample text about something else. <laughs> so we are trying to insert uh, this sentence inside, but we cannot do it, right? So uh, what happens when we run it? As you can see, nothing happens, but when we open the file, also nothing happens. <laughs> so uh, what happens? <laughs> you see, uh, w right now we have got the state, bad bit, and we can read that state. For example, we can do it that way. File, bet, and we can send it to the output. And as you can see, we have got here one. If we don't insert anything inside, then as you can see, we have got here zero. Okay, but well, why do we need something like that? Look, when something like that happen, what will happen if I try to, for example, uh, write something to the temporary file from the file? So something like that, and let's send it to the output. As you can see, nothing happens. Why? Because right now we have got a bad, um, bad bit, a state which says we cannot do any more anything on the file. So, <laughs> you know, Right now, if we wanted to do anything on uh, the file, we would have to reset. We, ha we would have to clear the state. So we would need to use the function, which is called clear, and it clear the state. So we would need to use here something like file, clear. And yes, right now, when we run this program, as you can see, we have got here a sample. So we have to clear we if something bad happens so we can check if file bad then we can say that something happened and we can clear the state then do something else for example uh, okay so what else flags do we have we have got a function which is called fail and uh, it is indicated by the fail bit and the function fail returns true if we try to assign string to integer while, while reading from file. So mm, the variables are not the same type or when bad bit situation happens. So the fail bit includes bad bit, but it is also indicating situation when we try to assign string to integer or another wrong type, right? So uh, let's check it out. Right now we also learn how to 
take something from the file. So we can, for example, let's create here a string which we'll call the buffer. So it is buffer is some kind of temporary place where we can store the things. And here, right now, we are directing things from the file to the buffer. And as you can see, now we can uh, send it to the output. And uh, let's do it. As you can see, we have a sample here, but what happens when we have got here integer? As you can see, we have got here zero because uh, these types are wrong and we have got uh, there's some kind of um, casting which is hidden from us. That's why we have got a zero. But uh, you know, right now we have got a file bit. We can also, we can check it. So as you can see, we can do something like see out uh, file fail and line. And as you can see, we have got here one, which indicates that something failed. So we can check if file fail, then say that it failed and we can reset the, uh, the current state, right? Okay. We have got also a good flag, which indicates that everything is good. <laughs> so it returns true if um, everything is fine. Or, well, if any of the above flags are fa false, right? So when we do something like see out file good, we should end, enter here. So we exactly now what is coming from what. And as you can see, we have got here zero. So not everything is good. But when we change it back to the string, as you can see, everything is fine. Okay, now let's imagine situation. I would like to read everything from that file, but we have got here lots of more text, right? Something like that. And we want to read all text at once. How to do it? It would be stupid if we did it, for example, like that. File to buffer, see out buffer, and again, and again. Of course, that thing would work, but it is not a good idea to repeat things when we can use what? Loops. So we have to use the loop, but when will the loop end? When we reach end of the file. And that is the most important flag, flag here, which is end of file. EOF, which stands for end of file, and it is a EOF bit and it returns true uh, if the file opened to read reaches the end of file. Okay, so let's try to use it. So we'll try to do something. So we try to read something all the time and let's send it to the output while and why we will not reach the end of file. So something like that. Oh, file dot end of file. And when we run it, as you can see, we have got here all text and at the end uh, we have got zero. Why is that zero here? That's a question. Good question. Because you might think, hey, everything is fine. We read everything, so we shouldn't worry about it anymore. But as you can see, I said it returns true if everything is fine, if any of the above flags are false. The problem is that end of file is true after reading everything from the file. And we have got now situation where we can't do any more anything with the file. What if I wanted to do something now 
with the file. I will need to reset the state, but firstly, I will need to check if the state, which is here, was end of file, or maybe it was bad bit, or maybe fail bit, or maybe it was sum of end of bit and file bit, right? Because these things can sum up also how it happens. Because you see, the good bit is zero, the end of bit is four, the fail bit is, um, sorry, the fail bit is four, the end of five is two, and the bad bit is one. And let's see how it is represented by bytes. Uh, one is represented by zero, zero, one, 2 is represented by 0, 1, 0, and 4 is represented by uh, 1, 0, 0, 0. Because we have got 1 in different places, we can sum the, these things together and we can say exactly which one is uh, happening at once together, for example, because of what? Because of bitwise operators. For example, the conjunction, the sum and the exclusive or operator. These operators are very well uh, talked about in the first C++ language course. We'll just use it here uh, in the very practical place. Because you see, right now, for example, I would like to check if that state here was really end of file. I could check, uh, of course, if the phi was end of phi and mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, if bad phi then, mm -hmm. if phi, mm -hmm. but how to check if these two were at once there, I would need to make lots of conditions, so it would be damn long. How to do it once and very well? Well, we can do, for example, something like that. We can use the read state function read state which is reading the state uh, that r and d is from read it stands from read right <clears throat> so we can read the state for example let's check it out what happens when we do something like that right now so phi read state As you can see, we have got here two. So it means that right now we have got the end of file bit, two. <laughs> if we had the fade bit, we would have four. If we had fade bit and end of bit, we would have six. Okay, so when situation of summing of the bits happen? Well, for example, now. We added here an enter and that enter end of line cannot be added to the string. When we run it, as you can see, we have got six here. So we have got in the same time a fail bit and end of five bit. So something wrong happened. And because something wrong happened, we wouldn't like to continue our program the same way, like if only we read the file properly. And we have to only re reset the state when the end of five bit state is on. We can use the exclusive or here. Why? Because when we have got the six, for example, one, one, zero, and we do the exclusive or here. So uh, for example, on zero, one, zero, the result of that thing would be one, zero, zero. So it would be four, which means that there happened more than just end of bit. If you had situation like 0, 1, 0 and 0, 1, 0, then we have 0, 0, 0 from the exclusive or, because exclusive war or works like that, that it is only true when only one of the bit is mm, true. And we can use it here. For example, like that, if file read state XOR exclusive or with, and here we can use the if stream, 
and use the flux which I talked about. So bad beat, fade beat, end of beat right now. And that thing end of beat indicates too. So if something like that happens, uh, and it equals zero, then it means that it is for sure end of, uh, end of bit, only end of bit. And we can reset the state. So uh, we can, for example, say something, the, the file has been written proper, uh, read properly, so, uh, and now we can clear the state, easy. And as you can see, now when we run this program, we have got six here. Why? Because the state wasn't cleared. Why it wasn't cleared? Because when, for example, we do something like that, as you can see, we have got here now four. Why is it four? Because as I said here, it's four here, right? Six and two is giving us four. But when we have got really a situation which is just end of file without the fade bit, uh, we'll reset the state and we can use again this file to do something else. Okay. Of course, when we just clear the state, it doesn't mean that we can read that file again without any problem because there is some kind of indicator at all which is indicating that it is at the end at the, uh, at the moment. We have to change this thing. To, uh, we have to move it to the beginning of the file or something like that. But we'll talk about things like that later. So here we can just clear set indicator of place in file to some other place uh, and some other operations on file. Otherwise we could check if uh, it was for example just fabit and we could just do a condition here and everything would be fine. Okay, that's all in this lesson. Thank you very much.